So we're going to cover the matrix form of linear dynamical systems in this video. What that means is that we've, we've, we've seen this, exp this equation. The state, the rate of change of x is equal to the matrix A times x. And we're calling this linear because A is just an n by n matrix. Now, this is all nice and good, but how do you get your dynamical system into this form? Most of the time, when you start off with writing out your equations for the dynamical system, they're just an individual equation differential form. And so let's consider the three-dimensional linear dynamical system with three state variables. So we have x1, and we can write out the equation for that. And we'll just say that it's a times x1 plus b times x2 plus c times x3. Then we'll write out the equation for the rate of change of x2, and that is d times x1 plus e times x2 plus f times x3. And then finally, we can do the same and write out the equation for x3. And this is g times x1 plus h times x2 plus i times x3. And so these are our three differential equations that comprise the dynamical system. And you'll note they're linear because each of the state variables, x1, x2, x3, is just being contributed to their various uh, differential equations on the states here, the rate of changes for state, in a linear fashion. There's just some, some, some constant term, right? that's being applied. There are no x ones to the squared here. There are no x cubes to the power of anything, right? These are linear relationships. And so when you have this, you can rewrite this equation in matrix form. So we can say that x1 dot, x2 dot, and x3 dot, we put that in vector form, are gonna be equal to some matrix, that's going to be our matrix A, times the state x1, x2, and x3. Well, if you just look at the, the matrix, uh, the matrix uh, if you look through the matrix math here and look at this, I've already written it out in a manner that is directly aligned to comprise A. A, the matrix A here, so this is just x dot, this is A, and this is X, these are the, the vector notations of it. And this is just A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And that's it. This is the matrix form of this system, this dynamical system, which is, which is written out in, in differential equation form. The beautiful thing about this is that now you have a matrix, a single matrix A, which fully describes the dynamical system, this linear dynamical system. And all you have to look now at is the properties of A. It's a much simpler and easier to understand problem than trying to solve this otherwise seemingly complicated differential equation. Because if you can understand the properties of A, you know everything about the dynamical system and the way the, the states are updated and how they behave.